Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In this video, I'm going to explain you about process patterns in the subject of software engineering. So basically, you know what a pattern is, right? So what do you mean by process pattern? And why do we have to learn about process pattern and what are the process patterns we have? The description of each of that, we will be learning it here in this video. Okay. So first of all, software process is defined as a collection of patterns. Okay. And this pattern will give us a template. So what this template will have, this template will have all the important characteristics of the software process. Okay, software process is a collection of patterns and this pattern will give us a template and this template will have all the important features or important characteristics of the software process. Got it? So with the help of these process patterns, you can define a software project clearly. You can define, you can show, you can exhibit the software project. Got it? So let us uh, see what are the process patterns we have and about each of them let us learn in detail okay no confusion software process is a collection of patterns and the patterns will give us a template what this template will have it will have all the important features which are related to the software process simple okay now what are the different process patterns we have first we have actually process template initial context problem solution resulting context and related problems okay these are the patterns we have and in the process template again we have few more things like we have few few more subcategories okay the first one is the meaning uh, sorry pattern name so we have to give our pattern a name in order to identify right and this name has to be a meaningful one that is on looking at the name you must be able to understand something about the pattern see suppose uh, our name my name is Shavya right by looking at my name they cannot understand anything they cannot understand only thing that is my name is Shavya right and if um, if, if you say suppose a book then people can understand that it is a book it is used to study like that so whatever name you're giving it has to be a meaningful one by looking at the name itself people should be able to understand about the pattern okay next intent intent you already know what is the objective of the pattern or to be more clear you can say purpose what is the use what is the need of the pattern that is called as intent okay and types so types or you can say simply type this will indicate the type of the pattern okay so we have actually patterns are of three types first one is task stage and phase okay so the type will indicate the type of the pattern so which type it is what do you mean by task task is nothing but action or a work task kind of thing like for example i'll tell you example you'll understand requirements gathering okay gathering the requirements is a task like that so if the pattern is related to task related to something like we are doing an action or we are defining a work task like that then it comes under task next stage stage means uh, you can simply say like defines the framework activity like which framework activity you are in we have actually fra five framework activities right so among five framework activities in which stage you are so for example you can take communication okay communication got it so this is stage in which stage you are next comes the phase so phase is nothing but it will um, define the sequence of the framework activities that is which um, phase you are using which model you are using to be more uh, precise you can say like we are using spiral model okay so it will define the sequence of the framework activities that is how the framework activities are happening in which order the framework activities are happening that will be defined by the phase and the stage will define in which stage of the framework activities you are got it don't get confused so this is about the process template the process template has three things it has the pattern name the intent and the type pattern name has to be a meaningful name the intent is nothing but the purpose of the pattern and the type of the pattern there are three types task stage and phase
okay so the next is initial context so what do you mean by initial context simple like you can say initially you will be defining the context of the pattern <laughs> don't get confused context means you already know right in which situation we can use this context is nothing but situation right so initially before initiating the pattern itself bef before initiating the pattern itself you will be defining the situation the conditions under which you can use this pattern got it that is what initial context since you are defining the context of the pattern that is in which situation the pattern has to be used you are defining it before the starting of the pattern itself you are calling it as initial context okay done simple next problem problem is nothing but the problem that is to be solved by the pattern so why you are defining this pattern in order to solve a problem right so what is that problem that is that will come under the problem next comes the solution so solution is nothing but implementation of the pattern the problem the solution implementation okay next is resulting context resulting context is nothing but upon completion of the pattern so once you are done so once the implementation of the pattern is completed what are the things that are going to happen like any advantages disadvantages whether the purpose of the pattern is satisfied or not so all these things will come under the resulting context after implementation of process what is going to happen next is the related problems if you are going to get any problems what are the uh, problems that are related to the patterns if any you will mention otherwise no okay so this is all about the process patterns got it so after this we have process assessment so thanks for watching the video and the topic which is prior to this that is cmmi i will give uh, i have already done it in the management sciences playlist so i'm not doing it again now so i will um, you know add it in the playlist in the order so you can have a look from there thanks for watching the video till the end if you're still having any doubts just let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear all your doubts for sure let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic till then stay tuned to my channel for more and more such videos